I'm here with Steve Shepard from Washington State University and he's kind of the bee guy. We're going to be talking to him about the ever important honeybees, right? And uh, you are an entomologist here at WSU. Yes, yes. And doing all sorts of research involving bees. Yeah, we, we work on honeybee breeding and honeybee genetics here and, and some other issues related to colony health. So you have some orchards and lots of bees. How many bees are... We, well, we usually have around 200 colonies and then we move some of them into the university orchard for pollination of tree fruits. Yeah, important. Yeah. One of the, the yeah. things that we need bees for. Yes, indeed. How important are they? They're, they're quite important if you like to eat fruits and vegetables. If you only care about eating wheat and rice, uh, you don't really need bees, but, but a lot of the vegetables and uh, fruits require pollination, nut crops, and also, believe it or not, uh, things like alfalfa, the this, this seed production is dependent on insect pollination, so it's really important for uh, milk and dairy products and meat production. And here in Washington State, we have a lot of important crops that need to be pollinated. Indeed we do, yeah. So we're the, you know, the largest producer of apples in the country, mm -hmm. and they definitely require insect pollination. What's a typical day for a bee? <laughs> you know, just like the farmer, it depends on the time of season. Sure. So in the winter time, the bees, the bees live for four to six months in the winter. They uh, actually group together in what's called a cluster, okay. and they consume honey and shiver. And the shivering generates heat, and so even if it's 10 or 20 below zero outside of the hive, yeah. the cluster inside will be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. So they to generate heat. Uh, during the summer, the lifespan of the bees is only four to six weeks. And they, um, once they hatch out as an adult, they go through a set of tasks within the hive. They initially start just eating honey and then feeding older larvae. And then as they get up to about three weeks old, they kind of transition to going outside. And then the last part of their life, they're foragers, mm -hmm. and they can live maybe a couple of weeks as a forager. And they literally wear themselves out in bringing back pollen. That's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, fascinating life of a bee. Yeah.